All right, again, welcome to the Capital Gang. And as I was saying earlier, it's only appropriate that this is all about raising capital. And we make this announcement um, as it relates to raising capital and this historic event, what we believe it will be a historic event. Um, we are, we, the principals have agreed to merge the DMI organization, Dealmakers Institute, uh, led by myself and Ace Chapman with TAM Elite Institute. And um, oh, let me get to the second one. So the largest shareholders, here's what we can say. We can't say all the details of it, but here's what we can say, general um, things. So the largest shareholders have agreed to merge. TAM Elite Institute is acquiring Dealmakers Institute. Um, the super affiliate trade all markets group uh, and, and the trade all markets moniker will be spun off. The new company will be DMI Equity Partners. That's the working name doing business as DMI or uh, Dealmakers Institute. We will have a crowdfunding campaign in partnership with Crowd Wall Street, the 10K project, and various Black uh, Chamber of Commerce across the nation. We will go on a raise tour, uh, myself and Robin. I think it's gonna be anywhere from five to seven uh, large cities with a major black chamber of commerce, uh, including the, the one in Southern California. And we will start at the end of June and go through July. This is not a, um, a fundraising tour in terms of that, it's more of an education uh, tour to stay in line with guidelines. So where are people moving? What's going on? Who's in charge? So in this new formation of this company, Robin Mansell will become the new CEO and president of the company. Ace Chapman, who is the largest shareholder, becomes the chairman, emeritus, and senior advisor to uh, Robin and her staff. Karen Main, who is uh, famous for helping uh, Tiffany the Budgetista as the CEO of Tiffany the Budgetista going from uh, a tenfold, quite honestly, uh, revenue increase will become the new uh, COO. Ebony Williams, who is uh, the, the leader of uh, Puff Mistress, uh, will also lead the operations transition as well, uh, including the crowdfund raise. Kadera uh, Muhammad will lead the technical transition. So there's a lot of stuff between the two companies and the back offices that need to be merged. Some of them need to be taken away. We have two accounting systems, et cetera. All of that will fall under Kadera Muhammad. Angela Skipper, who is currently our um, Crag project manager, will lead our national recruitment of next generation owners. She will, uh, she will be responsible for the outreach to the students who will then actually become owners. And so that's a huge, that's, that's a huge part, quite honestly, of the strategy. That is the strategy. Ali Mazzelli uh, will lead our acquisitions. Uh, Samantha Sham will, will lead our Web3, um, all of our Web3. So she will be really the leader of the digital arm. Um, Jana Lee will lead our post acquisition operational optimization piece where we are increasing, we're looking at E and M and trying to increase cash flow and multiple very quickly. And myself, I will uh, co lead with Robin for a little bit uh, through the transition period. And then my role, my next role will be determined. Here's a headline from 2024. Our greatness is in our future, the future is now. Today, the DMI group with its network of over, with its network of 100, and that's it, 100 partner firms acquired X Corp on the Y Stock Exchange, ticker profit now, in a reverse merger. This roll, this roll up consisted of 75 small personal care organizations with a market cap value of over $700 million with financial projections of over $1 billion in the next five years. That's the headline that you'll see 
mid to late 2024. So what's next? First, we need to finalize the deal that will take place in the next couple of weeks. Second, there will be a, our partner firms right now, I think we have close to 30, will have the opportunity for a pre-IPO. It's a soft launch, it's a soft uh, commitment, but they will have the opportunity to buy in on the TAM side such that when the merger happens, they are automatically shareholders in that, in that larger group. I will tell you that the, you, you buy at a dollar or whatever the, the, the number may be. I'm just using the dollar as the PFA pluck from there. And it will definitely, the merger with the acquisition and, um, and the value will actually go up at least 50%. So that's, that, that's a bonus for our partner firms because we love them. Um, the start of the transition will be on the 27th. Uh, we will start our uh, education, our raise tour on the 27th as well. The crowdfunding raise will go from after my birthday to about nine, six. Ceremony, uh, signing ceremony will be uh, 923 and the target D date to start the new corporation will be 10-1. And for now, that is it. I want to turn it over to Robin and have her say a few words, and then we will open it up for questions. Robin? All right, um, th this is some real exciting news, everyone. Um, it, it, it's, um, I, I get a little emotional about it because I have known Curtis for 30 years. Curtis is family. He's like a brother to me. And this has taken us full circle from where we began 30 years ago uh, when we created the first Black and Hispanic Business Expo at the Riverside Convention Center um, here in California. And this is the perfect timing for the community that we're building. And it's really exciting to have everyone who has believed in the vision, believed in the dream, sometimes when, or all the time, I should say, when we've been flying this plane and while we're building it. And so you have people that have believed in the direction that we saw that we could go. So this is a, this is a major evolution for us. And of course, for everybody who is part of, um, which the new company will be now be DMI. So I, I wanna give a, a lot of um, recognition and thanks to obviously to Curtis who um, literally called and said, I have something I need to show you. He drove from Arizona to my home in California. And I wish I had kept that piece of paper because he literally drew out what is different, a, a little different than where we are today, but it was going in that direction. So to see everything evolve to this point is um, quite an accomplishment. So the team that we've been talking about, which we always talk about the team, is everybody who has been a part of, um, of what we have and what we're doing here. And so um, Angela, Samantha, Lee, um, Jana, everybody who has come on to work with us, Angela, Lee, Samantha, Jenna, um, who have been in the background that you guys haven't really seen um, all the hard work that they really do to make everything happen here. And then our strategic partners, the 10K project. Um, as soon as I saw the 10K project, I knew that there was their mission was important and that it was something that, um, that our community was missing and something that we needed. So I joined the 10K project right away, but I have to give Cherie and Tawana credit for being open to the possibilities. 
because when someone comes to you and talks to you about a collaboration, sometimes people don't see it because collaboration is really about, it isn't about yourself. It really is about the team. And so the 10K project always open to working together to, to really building out and helping our community. And so have to give them a lot of credit for the direction and, and for, um, you know, for where we're headed. And then uh, Tammy with the uh, BCCIE, which is the Black Chamber of Commerce in the Inland Empire, another person who um, we came to and um, kind of drew out where we wanted to go, how we wanted to help the businesses in the community. And Tammy has been incredible to work with. Um, it, it just you know, on, on our side and promoting and supporting, she has done all of that. Crowd Wall Street, another strategic partner. Crowd Wall Street, we, um, again, you have to have vision for where people are going because they're not always where they want to go. But if you really believe that they have the capability to do what their, their vision says, then you build that relationship and you keep that relationship. And then we all are at this point now. So Crowd Wall Street, if you don't know, is the only, there are only three black owned crowdfunding portals and they are one of them. And they've been extremely supportive in everything that we do. Um, AP, if you don't know who the, the black tube is, if you don't know uh, theblacktube.com, um, they're going to be a huge strategic partner for us in helping you get the exposure that you need to get out there. Um, you'll hear more about that. Leslie, 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 I believe has a call going on right now, so she's not here, but another person who you go to and say, hey, this is what we want to do. We want to work together. We want to pull our resources together. And Leslie, I'm all in. Um, and then Various, who has Startup Empire, I just posted an interview that he did. We cannot do anything that we're doing without people who have vision and who believe that things like this are possible. And you guys have heard me tell the story about I'm a huge Shark Tank fan, but I never, ever imagined that everything that we're doing is so, has been possible and that we literally are creating the things that we've seen that we've only read in the Wall Street Journal that we've only seen on TV. That's who we're becoming right now. And so those of you that are on the call that have gone through um, the class, perhaps you didn't even know what that what it really was about, but you believed, you believed in what we're doing and you believe that there is a next level that we can go to, you guys deserve a lot of this credit for this because if you did not believe in what we were doing, especially not having real um, knowledge of this area, Curtis has really taken us to another level. But again, we, don't, we, we couldn't go there without all the pieces of the puzzle put together the way that they are that you guys have actually believed that this is possible. And you had the faith to put the time in to make it happen. So everybody, it, it isn't, there, there isn't just one, um, you know, there isn't just one person you can um, give the credit to, although I, I have to give a lot of the credit to Curtis because Curtis, like I said, he drove from Arizona to California and that 30 year friendship, family, Curtis is a godfather of my kids. Um, you, you, you guys, at maybe at another time on a retreat, I'll tell you some stories. If you really only knew. No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. I'm not. Did you say I can't? Correct. Curtis? Correct. OK. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> thank you, Curtis. He broke that up a little bit, but no, thank you. I just want to say thank you, guys. This is, um, as Curtis would say, you've never been on a ride like this before, and this is going to change so many lives and put us into 
where we get to control the narrative. I want you to think about that. We hear so many people saying uh, what we can't do and uh, you know, making things about politics or, or uh, about um, race and, and, and economics, but we're actually going to do the work to make those things change. This is like a huge step for us to really go out and show people what is possible when you have the right team and you have the right community. I've always been about community. I've always been about relationship, but now we get to do it together. We really get to do this together. So I'm really excited to work with everybody. I'm so um, honored to be placed in this role and to um, really let everybody know who we are and what we do. And um, yeah, get everybody to truly build that generational wealth that we just talk about. Because I always say it's a buzzword until you put in the, the work and you make it happen. And here, we're going to lock arms and uh, it is going to be more than just words. So thank you. And um, Curtis, thank you again for driving out that day and writing down that piece of paper and saying what, what's going to happen. I appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you, Robin. Uh, there, there is, <clears throat> so there's three individuals on here that, that uh, took the chance, um, who really, really took the chance a year ago. And it was part of the Queens. There, there was a subsequent group that went through in the fire hose of a weekend. That didn't, that didn't exactly <laughs> work very well. But those three individuals, um, Kat, Donis, and Janine, um, not only had faith, but they put their money where their mouth was in terms of, um, and they, they were the, the first to pony up when there wasn't, there was only the track record of DMI and Robin's reputation. And um, I want to just acknowledge those three ladies. And, and also Kat and her husband spent, we, we spent endless hours on the telephone trying to make deals and, and going through negotiations. And it was just, um, I have great appreciation for where, from whence we came. Um, humble, really humble beginnings in, in the start of the process. And the whole idea was on DMI side, we had really re re relatively a nail dominated um, group over there. And Robin had done obviously uh, Girls Gone Forex and some other things which were really female dominated. And so the idea was, well, why can't we have a group of uh, honestly African-American females out buying businesses? And that's how it started with the eight or so elite queens. And, and now we are obviously dominators up to about uh, 25 or so and we'll grow to 100 and that will be it. So I am very, very excited for what the future holds. And I, I know that our greatness truly is in our future and the future is currently now. So with that, I will open it up to uh, questions that and clarifications. And if I, we can answer them, we certainly will, um, provided it doesn't you know, violate anything uh, as it relates to the crowdfund. All right, questions, concerns, comments. Curtis, I just want, could I just say, could we unmute ourselves and give like a real, real, you know, applause here, you know, for real, this is amazing. Just, who, who will join me? Come on, y'all, who will join me? This is awesome. Woo! Amazing. Come on, come on, where you at, guys? Amazing. So glad to be a part of it, you guys. So this is Tawana. I just want to say congratulations, first of all. Um, you know, Robin, you talked about the, the openness of the 10K project. I just, I, I feel grateful that you saw something in us and, and in some instances that we didn't see in ourselves. And so thank you for taking us along on this ride. And the work we're going to do for this community is amazing. And I think it will be um, the thing that we leave behind when we're long gone. 
Uh, and personally from my family, you know, I'm gonna thank you on behalf of the generations and my family to come because the both of you have truly changed the trajectory of my life. Um, so thank you very, very much. And to, to this group, we are in for a treat. That is absolutely true. Thank you so much, Tawana. Um, like I said, you guys, as the minute I saw the 10K project, I knew there was something special about you guys. And I just really appreciate um, you, you're just so open and, and giving to what you guys do for the community, or as they would say, for the culture. <laughs> is uh, really amazing. I just want everybody to really see what it is that, that you guys do. I got a quick question. Um, first and foremost, congratulations, you guys. That's awesome. Uh, for your, your capital education tour, do you guys have the dates and cities nailed down? Uh, the reason I ask is if you're close enough, you know, I'd love to be able to come out, put a face to the, to the picture into the voice and you know offer support wherever we can. Absolutely. I you know I Angela is is in charge of that, but I know that we most likely because of uh, because Crowd Wall Street is like right here, we most likely will start in Miami and work our way west. So you you can Jeremy, where are you? I forget where you are. <laughs> I was in Arizona and I finally relocated to Texas. Ah, that's right. That's right. Are you are you in the Dallas area or Austin area? Uh I'm in San Antonio, uh, but Dallas and Austin are a quick okay. drive away. So we know uh, because we are buying and uh, we know that we're gonna be in Florida, we know we're gonna be in uh, Texas, and we know we will uh, be in Southern California. The rest is, is sort of the Eastern seaboard and um, you know, where, where our pockets are basically. But we do know those three areas for sure. Uh, Dallas area, Southern California area, and uh, Miami all the, literally all the way up to Jacksonville. And Georgia, Curtis, Atlanta. And Atlanta, of course. Okay, cool. Yeah, when you guys are in Dallas, I can like I said, it's an easy trip up there. We like to make big trips up to uh, to Dallas and all the time. So um, yeah, I'd love to head up there and offer any kind of support I can any way I can. Be great. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Other questions, concerns or comments? Everybody's in shock, unless you can't hear me. We can hear you. This is to say that I just wanted to say congratulations. This is wonderful. And I'm just happy to be in the midst of all of this greatness. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, my mouth is still open. So I'm trying to find the words. This is like really, this is awesome. This is awesome. And you guys are really amazing. I'm, I'm just thankful to be amongst you guys. And the cool thing is, Ebony, you get to, uh, you get to be part of that whole thing. Really, really. I'm, I'm, I'm excited and nervous and a whole bunch of other stuff, but I'm excited. I want to say to everybody too, I want you to understand that the exclusivity of this group um, is not to um, keep anyone out. It is so that we take the strength of who is here, who sees the mission, and so that we can build something so strong um, in a short period of time, as you've seen how quickly that we've, mo we've moved. So it's really important that you embrace the fact that you're part of um, this mission that we have and that it's going to make it so much easier for you to tell the story, to tell the story, to share the vision, because we want like-minded people 
who have a bigger picture in mind that we decide that, you know, if we didn't have a seat at the table, we just are building that table ourselves. And so we're not, we're not, um, we're, we're inclusive. I want you to know that to everybody, anybody that sees the mission of what it is that it is that we want to do, but it's a, a great position to be in that where you don't normally see people that look like us, that now we can, we can change the narrative. So I want you guys to all feel empowered about your ability and your role in all of this as we move forward. You have a major role in the story as we create this because I have my next dream is seeing us all on the cover of Fortune magazine. That's next. How, you know, I was just thinking about that. How cool would that be to see a hundred plus partner firms and the, the mosaic, you know how you, you like picture, people take pictures where the camera is at the top and then you have all these people, you know, sort of um, spread out and it's of these hundred micro private equity firms who have bought all of these companies together, rolled them up and went public. How cool would that be? That would be very awesome. It sounds like a pink monkey moment to me, Robin and <laughs> Curtis. <laughs> I mean, Janine, how did I know you were going to say that? Because if you think about it, when we did Girls Gone Forex, we took a picture like that standing on the stair, you know, on the stairwell. So, you know, that I'm big on dreams and I'm big on vision. And that came out of wanting to expose women to something that I saw in a male dominated space. So now we get to do this on a, a completely different level that I have to be honest with you guys, I really did not, I never imagined being in this space. And here we are, here we are. But I've always believed in you and you know, when you say we're going here, I'm showing up. So, so it, was, it was never a doubt that I didn't think that this would happen. Never a doubt in my mind. That's why I was like, sign me up. You know, one of the first few. So I appreciate everything that you've done as far as to mentor me along the way throughout the years. And then also to Curtis, you know, bringing him into our space also too. I really appreciate that. And I'm forever grateful. You are so welcome, Janine. Thank you. And thank you to Queens too. Like Curtis said, you guys believed when I had to go through the class with you. <laughs> so you, you Queens, you know, there's a special place for you ladies because you, you saw it when it was nothing compared to what it is right now. And you believed in the process. So you guys definitely, um, I'm gonna have to get on that tour and, and do something special for you ladies. Yes, it has been amazing just to see how everything has evolved. And so just thank you to both of you. It's just amazing. It's awesome. Hey, Robin, congratulations. <laughs> I am, uh, you are quite welcome. I am uh, sort of straddling two calls. I'm actually uh, listening in on to Sam's call too. So you guys know I'm a forever learner. Um, so I just, I did catch the, uh, the announcement, however. So I wanted to come in and chime in and say congrats. Uh, you and Curtis um, had a vision and you all saw that through and we're happy to, uh, to have been a part of that as well and continue to be a part of it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kat, thank you, Donna's. Absolutely. And anyone else? Thoughts, comments, questions, more questions than anything. As Kevin said, you know, I, I start getting, with the Mutual Admiration Society, you start getting choked up. So 
we need like real questions as opposed to questions. No, no questions. All right, Kevin, what do you think before we leave? Of this announcement? No, of the weather today. <laughs> of course. <it's> a, <laughs> I just want to make sure. 